A few years back, when I had first gotten my hands on the AirPods Max, I had done a video talking about how they compared to other really high-end headphones that I had that were in the four to six hundred dollar range. At the end of playing around with them, I had remarked that I didn't think that the price tag of five hundred and fifty dollars was that overpriced for these, even though the sheer audio quality wasn't quite as strong as those other headphones, you have to bear in mind that what you're also getting with these is the excellent noise cancelling and the class leading transparency mode, which uh, I've always felt, and when I've given these to my wife to wear at one point, she's even kind of remarked like, wow, this is like not even wearing headphones, you can totally hear everything around you so well. And so to me, uh, that kind of justified the price tag a bit of these and made them a great total package. Especially when you bear in mind comparing them to other high-end headphones that you don't need a headphone amp or a deck like you would for those to make these work and get nice audio quality. And so that seemed like a really tempting package uh, viewed that way. However, over the years since owning them, I've also gotten my hands on the AirPods Pro 2s and using those has made me rethink a few things about the AirPods Max. And I think that's largely because in most areas, what these offer are the same or very close to what the AirPods Max offer, but at less than half the price tag. In terms of audio quality, these are pretty close. The main areas where I feel like they don't quite measure up to the AirPods Max would be in the highs, there's a little bit more sibilance, so those S sounds have more of a tss like quality to them. Uh, that's true with voices and vocals, as well as it is sometimes with cymbals and hi-hats and the drums and things. It's a little smoother. I don't notice that as much in the AirPods Max, so that's a minor thing that these don't do as well. On the other hand, I actually think that the bass is more enjoyable to listen to on the AirPods Pros because it has a little bit more of a bass forward, a fun and punchy presentation, whereas on the AirPods Max, I feel like they were going for more of a neutral sound. When you listen to really bassy music like industrial or rap or electronic and stuff, you can tell that these headphones can take it and they do the ultra lows well, but they're without some kind of EQ, which of course on Apple, you don't really get a custom EQ. You get presets and they only work for the music app, which is sort of unfortunate. I feel, I felt like a lot of times I haven't gotten the most out of these compared to other headphones I have that are a little bassier. And so in that way, I have actually often preferred the AirPods Pros, uh, like I said, just because it's a little bit more fun sounding. But in terms of detail and th those types of things, I feel like these measure up pretty close. Close enough that being half or less the price uh, certainly makes you kind of question whether it's worth paying that much more money for what you're getting. The transparency mode is also close. I wouldn't say it's quite as good. It's not like, wow, I can't tell the difference between wearing these headphones or not having them. It's not quite that realistic, but it's also, it's close enough that you're not saying, wow, everything sounds fake and annoying around me or it's unbalanced and it's weird like people have said about other headphones. Uh, that try to offer that type of feature. And so once again, it's like it's close enough that you probably don't care a whole lot about the difference. Noise canceling, pretty similar. Uh, I've even mowed the lawn with these on, and when I put on noise canceling, I barely even hear the lawn mower uh, while I'm going. And so I would say that's pretty much on par with the AirPods Max as well. And while normally for longer listening sessions, I prefer big over-the-ear headphones just because uh, even with the right size ear tips, I just find in-ear headphones become a little sore in my ears after longer sessions. So normally it would be my preference to wear the bigger ones. These, the headband, I don't know, it just, it's not comfortable. It's actually one of the least comfortable big over-the-ear headphones I own. Now I realize I'm bald and don't have any hair and so for me... Uh, headbands are probably less comfortable than the average person, but it's also worth noting that even though this mesh headband seems like it would be really comfortable, and it is because it flexes to the shape of your head, the problem is these two metallic bars on either side, when this flexes up, all the weight of the headband falls onto the bars. And when you don't have hair, that actually, when I wear these for longer than like a half an hour, it leaves a divot in my head. Uh, and it's pretty uncomfortable. I've even sometimes had to take a thin foam strip and put it over my head when I wear these to like kind of protect it. And I don't have to do that on any of my other large headphones. And so 
to me, that's kind of a con of these, and it does, in a lot of cases, once again, make me reach for these more often, uh, because even though it's not ideal to have them in my ears, I still find that more comfortable for longer sessions than uh, wearing it over my head. And so I just got to a point over the years of owning both where I just started taking notice of how often am I reaching for the AirPods Max or how often am I just wearing the little pros instead and started to notice these had become my go-to for a lot of things. And so my ultimate point with all this is that I think as much as I liked the AirPods Max when I first got them, Having these, I think if I were starting over and doing it all again and I didn't own anything, I would just buy the AirPods Pros and not worry about the Max, to be honest. Uh, because, I, like I said, I feel like you're getting pretty much as good of a transparency mode, just as good a noise canceling, pretty close to as good a sound quality, better bass, and much lighter and much easier to pack in a bag for travel. People have beaten to death the point about how the terrible case for these doesn't actually protect them. I'm not going to belabor that point in this video, but it's true. The AirPods Max don't travel well, and so I've taken this on a cruise with me. I've taken it on planes, etc. I just think that there are so many advantages of this that it's just that the AirPods Pros are comparatively such a good deal and create so much value that I just most of the time don't think the AirPods Max are bringing enough more to the table to justify being over twice the price of these. So that was just something I wanted to share uh, to delve a little deeper into my very initial impressions from two or three years ago about the AirPods Max. If you're deciding between those two headphones, I hope this has kind of been helpful. If you have questions for something I didn't cover in this video that maybe I could answer about them, throw them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. And otherwise, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.